so today the problem that we are going to look at is uh, a 2d array data structure problem from hetherite which uh, so mainly we have to calculate the sum of the r class so an r class uh, is a subset of value as you can see they will follow this pattern this is a r class and uh, we have to find different R glass given in a matrix. We are given a 6 cross 6 matrix. And we have to find the R glass. And uh, we will calculate the sum of each and every R glass. And uh, return the maximum sum. Whichever we will find. So in a 6 cross 6 matrix there will be 16 R glass. As you can see in the example down here. Like this is the first, second, third, fourth, and similarly, we'll have 16 R glasses. So, yeah, let's get started with the code. Firstly, it's a very easy code, and uh, we really don't need to get into so much depth. Even when I try to solve this problem, I get into much more depth than required. So, we must uh, ignore that. Okay, so firstly, we are provided with a list of array and I'll be using list. I will not be converting into an integer array or anything like that. I'll just use the list. So firstly, let me calculate the length of rows equal to array dot size. It's a function for the list to get the length of the list. For columns, the length will be array dot get zero dot size. So this this will provide us the length of the columns. For example, uh, why did I write get zero first? Is because whatever is the length of array at index zero, that will be the length of our columns for example the length of our array at index 0 is 6 so we'll have 6 columns so this will provide us with columns so next we are going to use two for loops as uh, to loop through a 2d array we need two for loops rows i plus plus If j is equal to 0, j less than calls j plus plus. Okay. So now we'll take a sum variable to add values. So we'll calculate the values from in index uh, 0. Okay, so our i is pointing at here. This is our 0, 0 index i value is 0, j value is 0. So firstly we'll add that to our sum variable that is array dot get whatever is the value present at i dot get j. This will provide us with the value present at 0, 0 index. Next we'll increment our j as uh, j is in a loop. It will run till 6 when i is 0. So yeah, let me just calculate the or add the next value that is array dot get i. Now we will increment j value because uh, we are on the same row but our column value is increasing. So we will just increment j value j plus 1 plus now again for the third value. I'm just going to copy and paste it now. J plus 2. So this is, in this we are done with our first R glass of the first row. Now for the second row, what we are going to do is I plus 1 because we are moving to next row and J plus 1 to get the second element. J is 0 and we'll have zero element but j plus one will give us second element that's all we require now for the third row 
they will increment the i by 2 i plus 2 that is j plus 2 will add zeroth value now i plus 2 to the second value in the third column third row j plus 1 plus for the third value i plus 2 and j plus 2 so that's the sum for a single r glass next we are going to create a maximum variable to store the max value here uh, um, we are given with the constraint that uh, array value minimum will be minus 9 and uh, maximum it can go till 9 so we can uh, get the maximum value or we can write in a maximum variable minus 63 because in our class it could be the case like this the example was here yeah if we calculate the R glass of this or if we calculate the sum of this particular uh, R glass the sum the maximum sum that we can get is uh, minus 63 so that's why we are uh, initializing it with minus 63 it can't go beyond that because minus 9 is the minimum element we can get so next step is to compare and add for that uh, max is equal to match dot max this function will provide us maximum value from max form or sum whichever is the maximum either max or sum that will get stored in the maximum variable just we just need to return max value so this code seems fine but it's not gonna work let me show you why runtime error index out of bound error so why is this uh, index out of bound bound of error coming up so let's see uh, in this example or uh, here when uh, i value reaches uh, i and j value reaches 4 or 5 we are adding that i plus 1 and i plus 3 but that is going to lead us to the error index out of bound error so we are going to stay till here because uh, we are adding plus 2 so we'll uh, just loop till 4 so we just decrement for minus 2 till where we can loop so we will draw loop till 4th column and 4th row so that whenever we add uh, i plus 2 and j plus 2 it will not create error index out of bound error so now let's just run and see so it's working so yeah this is how it works oh, okay thank you